Welcome back to the Men in Blazers show. Now, shortly before this show, Rod, you had the chance to hang with wildly popular musician Hosier, a man with Andy Carroll hair and, well, Andy Carroll height. Thankfully for you, the similarities pretty much stopped there. Oh, let's just say Hosier's the man. I wish I was. My guest today is a swoon-inducing multi-platinum bermanbund artist blessed with one of the most sensual, cathedrally singing voices ever to come out of Ireland. Oh, <laughs> up there with Seamus Coleman anyway, a man with so much swarthiness, I'd worship like a dog at the shrine of his life. As his new song, Jack Boot Jump, hits record stores and the audio platforms that killed them, we welcome to Men in Blazers, Mr Andrew Hosier Byrne. It's Hosier. Hey, how's it going? Oh, thank you. Good now. Good now. Big, important, hard-hitting questions first. <laughs> OK. What's it like to have all that beautiful hair? <laughs> I'm uh, asking for a friend. This is a wig, in fact. It so is. It's a yes. hairpiece, yeah. But yeah. this is too. I wish I believed you. <laughs> There's an amazing video of you on YouTube taking two whole minutes to put your hair up during a concert in Rochester. I like the way you're pretending you don't remember it. <laughs> Are you aware of the power of your hair on stage? I'm keenly aware. It's, a, in fact, the source of my power. It is? Yeah. Oh. I have to protect it. It's biblical. I swore <laughs> I was never going to do this, but just being with him, it makes me want to grow mine out again. <laughs> you are a beautiful man, Hosier. Six foot five, Irish Yao Ming. You are from County Wicklow. You're an icon in those parts. It's been said that the Irish cheer for your success, quote, like you are a football team. Mm -hmm. And when I listen to your music, those songs, it's almost like there's something behind them, an energy, the same thing that drives your Rory the Laps, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. drives the music there. There's a sense of place and there's a sense of identity and a, and a pride in the place and, 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 and that the world can be taken on. It cries out, it seeks to, to let itself be known and, and to make its mark. And, through sports. You know, yeah, through, through sports. Through music. Through music. And like Liverpool, it's a city that punches so far above its weight, culturally and musically and athletically. I'm from Liverpool. We grew up believing that Liverpool was actually the capital of Ireland. <laughs> and your sporting memories, they come from a time, really the mid-90s. Your memories mostly revolve around the Manchester United-Liverpool rivalry. Yeah. Kids in your neighbourhood were crazy into the Premier League. Take me back there. Yeah, every kid in the neighbourhood, Manchester United. American kids at home are not going to believe Manchester United was once an unbelievable and unstoppable team. They won things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was an enormous know, brand, right? No, yeah. Oh, you couldn't get away from it. Every eraser that you'd see in school was a Manchester United eraser. Every pencil case, every pencil. It was nuts. Exactly the kind of ubiquitous success, that kind of omnipotence of Manchester United, which made me used to do crayon drawings of the Liverpool's crest. Because... <laughs> I was this like, is an insight into Young Hosier. Everyone is, everyone is a Manchester United fan. So what does Young Hosier think? Yeah, support Liverpool, support the underdog. You, you know? spent ages just drawing the Liverpool crest into your remember, school yeah. books. The heart of Manchester United's success, obviously a great manager, Sir Alex Ferguson, but on the field, an Irishman, Roy Keane. There was Roy Keane, yeah. For those who never saw him play, what do you remember about Keane? Because he was a legendary hard man. Oh, now Keane has pushed out here. <laughs> he was also an incredible passer, underrated his spatial awareness, more than anything an incredible leader on the field. He's a man who never sits on the fence over or something. You see up there? Right. Come on up. Very strong-minded man. Fences are for leaping off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or leaping off into other players. One last who's your football question. Before the last World Cup, you were on Good Morning America with, do you remember who? Yeah, with the US team. A few days before heading out to the World Cup. So it looked happier to be posing for selfies with you, some of them, than when they actually won the entire tournament. <laughs> Just look at Emily Sonnet's face. Oh, I love this photo. You look like a very tall Carly Lloyd. <laughs> but to me, these women are a similar expression of identity for a similar young audience, but in a very different way. Yeah, oh, totally, yeah. I suppose when you think about what that represents, what that success represents, and the leadership shown there is monumental. I won't end on a final note of Hosier Wisdom. Is it true that on your arm you have tattooed the last words of the great poet Seamus Heaney. <laughs> I do, indeed, yeah. And those words are? Noli temere, Latin. For? Don't be afraid. What yeah. a beautiful notion. Noli timere, don't be afraid. In your own words, can you explain what does that mean to you? Whether it's in the creative field or whether it's in the athletic field, it's to move with freedom, you know what I mean, and, and, to, and, to, and to be unburdened by doubt and hold some faith in yourself and move forward. Words to live by. God bless you, Hosier. To be with you is to feel enlightened, to feel better <laughs> about the world. You're a light into the darkness, a light with very nice hair. <laughs> Jackboot Jump, available now. 
Noon Timore Courage. Thank you very, very much.